Yeah, well, I did plenty of change. Um, um, I do, um, that would Hello. Oh my God, you'll never believe where I am. I am so excited to be here and I'm in America and I'm actually in a place where I've wanted to visit since I was probably seven, six even, and that's Kansas. Because of The Wizard of Oz, I was obsessed with that film as a kid. Like that obsessed me and my sister even like reenacted the well, the first chunk of it anyway, for my family. Could it help you? We haven't camped anywhere. We must be over the rainbow. And I wrote to Jim I'll Fix it. I mean, no comments about this, but yeah, I wrote to Jim I'll Fix it because I wanted to try and Dorothy's shoes. So the fact that I actually get to come here, ride my bike, uh, is very exciting. And the other thing is I'm actually here to do Unbound, uh, which is happening in a couple of days. And I am, oh, it's going to be, so good although it's really nice and warm today although the weather is gonna oh, i think it's gonna get a little bit wet uh, so today as you've seen some of the clips we went to garmin headquarters which is also in kansas it was kind of like a little uh yeah i couldn't really show you much but it was very impressive so we are just hang on one sec where should i go go right so we've just travelled over here, we've set up the bikes, I'm just testing my bike out now and I'm going to show you my setup for it. Just checking that everything is all good with the bike. Uh, which road did I come down? Did I come down that one? I think it was that one. Oh my god. I didn't turn my Garmin on and now I'm lost. It's kind of ironic seems that I'm here with Garmin. <laughs> uh, which way did I come? I should have turned it on. Is this it? This is why... <laughs> this is why I need a garment. I am lost. I've literally come out for two minutes and I think I'm lost. Actually, I think it was this way. Oh, it was 60. Oh God, I don't even know what the name of I haven't got my phone with me either. Finally go over, I found where we're staying. I think, actually, I'm saying, oh yeah, I can see uh, the other guy. <laughs> I was almost going to look back on the footage to see the road where I turned. I only went out and turned twice. I was going to get lost. Jack's go starting a YouTube channel. Do you want to check him out? Jack. It's Jack. Uh, Jack Media Borough runs Jack <laughs> Jack Cooker no, Media Borough Jack runs slow Jack runs jogs Jack, Jack, Jack jogs Jack, Jack jogs. runs jogs basically walking walks. ultra walking <laughs> Jack's ultra walking and run run bike so welcome to my channel um, make sure you smash the bell so you get notified when you bell. upload and hit that subscribe give me button. that like yeah. um, let me know what you think in the comments uh, we're going to do a giveaway so make sure you watch the end of the video um, we are giving away um this this insulated water bottle to one lucky viewer on what do we have to get to do to get you have to subscribe to, to cade media <laughs> heaviest bike in the in the peloton. peloton for the strongest rider obviously 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 <laughs> all right well get around the back with you couldn't you okay see you there also i will prepare you now have you seen the friends where Monica goes to the beach and her hair just gets like completely massive. I feel like mine's doing that already. It's just growing. So yeah, it's really humid. I'm gonna get massive curly hair. So yeah, let's get onto the setup. The main thing that I get asked on gravel rides is what tires do I run? And these are Michelin Force XC. They're actually 2.1s. They are mountain bike tires. They do fit on this frame marginally, um, but I just really like them because it potentially is gonna be sludgy because of the uh, the weather change so that's why i've got them i uh, i really like them and but you can't buy them anymore so yeah they stopped making them so i'm sad because they were my favorite tires for this uh, for gravel basically group set i've got uh, shimano grx which is the 4630 i love this group set i just think it's really good for climbing it's really really super low gearing and yeah i really like it uh, pedals I've got the Garmin Rally XC200s these are power meter pedals and specifically because it's such a long event I just want to be able to not uh, specifically 
uh, basically for pacing. I'm not going to be looking and being like, oh my God, I've got to hit these watts. But it is just for me just to keep an eye on, just to make sure that I don't, uh, yeah, basically just to make sure I finish. <laughs> so that's why I've got these on. Also, I have these on my road bike, so I'll just change them off one bike to the other. Really easy, just use the pedal spanner to change them over. And yeah, so when I'm doing like long distance stuff, I really prefer having SPDs on my road bike just because it's easy to walk around when you're getting food or if you need to, yeah, just doing a little bits of walking around. Uh, next thing is my top tube bag. I get asked about this one all the time. This one actually bolts on. It's an Apajura one. Actually, let me just show you there. Um, so can you see in there? It just bolts onto the actual frame. You can get ones that don't bolt on as well, but I really like this one just because, yeah, it doesn't move around when you're off-road and it's got a little magnetic clip there. So it just snaps there. I actually only use that for snacks and my GoPro. Rear bag I've got, this is called Big Top. Um, I really like this, but I've got all my toolkit. I'll leave a link to a video where I talked about all my um, repair kit that I take on a gravel ride. So head unit, I've got the Garmin Edge 840 Solar. I'm just going to show you the uh, data screens and the data fields that I have. And the, like, these are the main ones that I look at. So this is my main one. So we've got speed, average speed, distance, timer, three second power and ascent. And I just have speed, not because I'm like, oh, I need to be going at minimum speed. I don't, I never kind of chase speeds. It's more just so that I can kind of gauge how long it's gonna take me to either get to a checkpoint or to get to the end of the course. Distance, obviously, because you wanna know how far you've ridden. Timer, self-explanatory, and then three second power. Again, that's connected to the pedals I just showed you. And that is, again not because i'm going to be like oh i need to hit this power for the way around you can use it like that but it's more just to actually just pace it because it's going to be a long long ride next page is the map page it's going to be following the route this is the climb page it's got total ascent and the ascent remaining so that shows you how much climbing there is left to go and obviously um what i'm going to be using on this is climb pro so that's going to show me where all the climbs are the distance remaining love climb pro uh, solar power that just tells you how much battery you've gained and the intensity um, when you're riding and this is kind of like my miscellaneous page so this is like some of the stuff that I want to have but don't necessarily need to see like in bigger detail so I've got time of day cadence calories grade of climb distance to destination time to destination remaining climbing battery level average cadence and temperature and this is what I like most about Garmin's is that it's so easy to customize the data fields actually as you're riding so if you think oh actually i really need to see this or just easy to do when you're just stood here just press that you can pick there are a million and one different things that you can pick to um choose that heart rate i know a lot of you ask me i'm not i don't use a heart rate monitor when i'm outside i use one indoors not outdoors just personal preference so that is that and i think that's pretty much the whole bike setup you see my hair it's getting bigger by the second it is ridiculous this is how humid it is it is so so warm um so yeah that is the bike setup we need to go to the expo now because jack needs to pick up his bike box build that up so i'll show you their bikes tomorrow when we've got a bit more time um but yeah we've all got quite different setups so yeah that's that yeah i've been looking forward to this i've known i was coming since the end of last year so i've just been like oh so excited i'm a little bit nervous if i'm honest because if it gets really sludgy i'm not great in sludge but you can just walk and holly did it last year and she was saying that it is such a wide range of people that actually do the event so there's loads of people that obviously are going to go and race smash it and are just amazing off-road and there's people that you know just take it at their own pace and then walk in if they need to i think that will be me um but yeah i'm just really excited to go and do it so right go and grab them go to the expo and i will see god i've been waffling Probably the next time you see me, my hair is going to be like triple the size because it's so humid. Okay, bye, 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 bye.